What's up YouTube? This is Ultra Rye, and today we are going to go over everything to do with gaps. Now the first thing you need to understand about gaps is there are two different types of gaps in strings, right? Some of them can only be armored through. Let's take Lee May's 124. There's a gap that can be armored through. But that gap cannot be full combo punished. If they go to hit a button, So I have Lee May doing one, two for a reversal on the gap. If they go to hit a button, I bet you're going to win every single time, right? And then that can go into a combo. So if they, uh, so that gap, the only thing they can do is armor through it, right? They can't do anything else. They can't hit any other button. They have to armor through it. Now, some gaps are full combo punishable. Let's take Lee May's. 2-1-4, full combo punishable, and back and back 3-4. Both of those are full combo punishable, which means that if I go to continue that string and my opponent knows that, they are going to punish me every single time. So for the strings that they can only armor through, right, pretty much what you want to do is you want to bait out the armor. 1-2 block, and then... You know, you get a full combo punish or whatever. I guess some characters can make their armor and move safes. So you might not be able to punish it, but you got to do what you can do. But if it's a gap that they can only armor through, uh, you're pretty much just going to bait out the armor, block it, and then go for the punish or continue your offense. Now, the gaps that are full combo punishable is where this really opens up the game, right? So let's say you have like 2 1 4 is full combo punishable. If I think my opponent's going to punish this, I'm just going to 2 1 and a fireball. Same with back 3 4. If I think they're going to go for the punish, I'm going to back 3 and a fireball. And I'm going to win that interaction every single time. Right? So now your opponent's going to be like. Wrong string, sorry about that. Your opponent's gonna duck the fireball if they think that you're gonna throw the fireball. They're gonna duck it, and then they're gonna get a full combo punish. And this is where the mind game starts to open up. Because if you notice, 214 can be full combo punish. If they go to full combo punish 214, then you can do 2 1 fireball. And you're going to blow up their, uh, and you're going to blow up their fireball because you can duck it, then full combo punish them. But if I think my opponent is going to duck the fireball, I'm going to do this. Because if I'm ducking, I'm going to get hit by that every single time, right? If I go to duck, I'm going to get hit by that, and that leads to a huge combo, right? <laughs> 430 damage, all because they tried to duck the fireball. So there's a mind game that you can use for gaps on offense and defense. And that is really all you need to know about gaps. You need to know if a gap is full combo punishable or if they can armor through it. And uh, what you're going to do to counteract your opponent doing that move. I appreciate y'all's support and I hope this video helps y'all and y'all have a fantastic day.